Hi, Angelo Romeo here uh, at Romeo Tree Service in Tucson, Arizona. Today we have this leader that's going straight up into the canopy, into the crown of this other mesquite, and we want to subordinate it down to give everything enough room to grow. Now, unfortunately, on this leader, there have been branches that have been removed from it. There have been thinning cuts, lion tailing. That's all the same thing. Thinning cuts, lion tailing, taking out the middle. That's all the same thing. And wouldn't it be nice if these branches were still here? Because if they were still here, we'd be able to make this reduction cut down to this branch in order to subordinate this leader away from that upper main dominant canopy. Now, the only thing we really got going for us now is to wait for some sprouts to grow because we like when sprouts grow. Sprouts are giving the second chance to have something to reduce back down to because you can only make a reduction cut that's cutting the leader back to a branch. You can only make a reduction cut down to a branch that the tree has offered. You can't just make a cut anywhere you want, otherwise it's called a stub cut. But if the tree offers a branch, you can reduce down to it. And if unfortunately someone has taken out that branch, well, you just gotta wait for the tree to make more offers in the form of sprouts. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about mesquites and Palo Verdes at our website, RomeoTreeService.com, where you'll find our video, Mesquites and Palo Verdes, A Homeowner's Guide.